Hey everyone, this is my Ninja 636 and today we're going to be painting the chrome frame black. Never been a fan of chrome, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that entirely. And I won't be removing anything else off the bike, the bike the way it is, I'm going to be painting it. I do plan on cleaning the frame and taping off and using bags to cover off whatever I don't want overspray to get on. But I do plan on getting rid of all the chrome on the bike and switching to a nice black frame for the new riding season. So I'll give you guys a quick look of how the bike looks with the chrome frame. Of course, it's pretty much similar on both sides. Nothing changes. Nothing at all changes, really. But yeah, this is the bike. So the goal is, again, just to go ahead and clean down the frame, get rid of all the grease, grime, all that stuff. Mask off everything I don't want overspray on and just paint it black. So with this, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the end result that I get with spray painting your bike and masking it off. Obviously you can go to a shop or you can take all the, take the engine off and all that stuff, but I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna show you guys the process at which I do it. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and remove the passenger pegs on both sides of the bike pegs. I just want to go ahead and put them a different color. They won't be going black or they may be. I'm not sure about them yet, but I was going to get them removed. And then that way we can go ahead and decide the paint scheme for these afterwards. Guys, here's the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and tape off the bike, get it covered so like spray is no overspray, anything I don't wanna get overspray on. So yeah, wish me luck guys. Alright guys, so I do currently have the paint warming up. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a walk around the bike, what I've covered off, and yeah. So as you can see, the frame is pretty much exposed, everything else is covered off. If paint does get on anything, such as a chain or anything like that, extra, I'm not too worried, I do have to go ahead and change certain parts on the bike, as I do plan on replacing a ton of parts, because with just time, they need to be replaced. But pretty much, this is how the bike looks. All wrapped up. I'm actually pretty. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm, it didn't take me a long time to go ahead and tape and wrap up everything, so I'm excited to go ahead and paint this frame black and just see what the bike will look like. Like, it looks. It look, I'm like, it looks really weird seeing the bike like this. I've never seen it naked to this extent, but I'm just excited to go ahead and get this bike looking completely different for the new season. Let's go ahead and paint this. Well, when the paint's done, obviously, but yeah, I can see that. So let's go ahead and paint this. All right guys, so we do have our three cans of paint just chilling there in the water, getting warm. The goal is to apply about three to four coats of black. I may do a clear, depending on how I feel, I may not do a clear coat. Not too sure, but I just want to get a nice even coverage so that if anything were to happen, the bike looks decent, you know? But 
Again, I'm excited, guys. And I do apologize because I know there are a ton, 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 ton of time lapses, but we're almost done, I promise. Well, yeah, let's get this done. So the first one is pretty much done. I'm already loading the look of the black on the bike. But I'm gonna go finish off with three to four more coats. I may be a little clear, not too sure what I feel. But when I'm done, I'll show you guys the finished product and I'm already happy. Change it a bit. Alright guys, so the bike is done. I did do about five coats of black and then three coats of clear. Um yeah, to me for what I did, the way I did it, taping off everything. To me, I love the way the bike looks. Like it looks, it looks great to me. I'm excited for me to finish everything off and paint the fairings now and the rest of the journey for this bike. But I'll show you guys how it looks. So here she is, guys. For a rattle can job, I am completely happy with the turnout. Again, I know like I didn't paint all the way up here. I don't care if I'm gonna be showing the fairings and covering it. But again, for what I did and have black paint lying around this cost me nothing to do but other than time and I am extremely in love with the results. I'm just happy with the way it turned out. Appreciate you guys taking the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave it a like, comment and if you enjoy the black frame or if you prefer the chrome let me know. Um, subscribe if you're new. If you guys want to stay tuned for more stuff in regards to the bike I do a part time for it again as well I'll be painting more on the bike and changing parts out and all that stuff so if you guys want to see more of that definitely subscribe. Cheers the next one man. Thanks for watching.